Oh, yeah. I, a, a couple of weeks back, maybe a month ago, I did a, a video about um, men doing less of the housework than women. And this and the reasons for it, and we all know, or if you're honest enough to know, it's because men are lazy. But here <laughs> is this thing I saw, and this is from last November, and it was from uh, Canada, the Globe and Mail. But here's the new reality of dating over 65. First of all, why the hell would anybody want to waste his or her time dating after, well, actually after age 40, but definitely after age 65. Why the hell would you even do it? But I think so much of our society, our media and stuff, are trying to say, oh, this single people over 65 are really getting it on, and they could be just like, people in their 20s and they have these active lives. Hell, just staying alive to 65 is a chore. I know too many people, men especially, who have already died by this age. I went to high school with somebody about 50 or so years ago and she went to another high school um, after her sophomore year, but she's fighting for her life uh, with COVID-19 and this is here in Southern Oregon. But, you know, but a lot of the dudes especially, they've dropped dead of, of cancer. And it's no joke. So why anybody would even waste his or her time dating is, uh, at, especially over 65, is a, is a mystery to me. It's just too time consuming and uh, people don't have a lot of years left. And it's time to take stock of that. And get real. Women especially are brainwashed on this stuff. That they have to orient around a man. And, and garbage. But this is hilarious. The new reality of dating over 65. Men want to live together. Women don't, don't. Gee I wonder why that is. You know. I wonder why that is. Is it, is it that hard to understand. Why it is that um, why women don't want to bother with it. At least enough of them don't. And this guy, here, here they're quoting a guy that's a couple of years older than me, and he's a believer in marriage. He wed three times and was hoping to get a fourth go. And... But the... Uh, he want, And this guy was dating some woman that was a widow, and she and she didn't want to live with him, but he wanted her to live with him. And so, like, these men, uh, and then he found out they, they separated, and then he dated some other women, and then he found out they didn't want to live with him either. Well, of course not. When, most of these women, by age 65, uh, a lot of them are widows. They've been there and done it with the caregiving. And they're sick and tired of being used again by some entitled dude to take care of them. That's why they don't want to live with them anymore. And you know, always the question, even with younger women, the question should be not should you live together before marriage, but should you live together after marriage? Or even better still, should you live with a man at all? And as I stated in my uh, housework video, I say hell no, don't do it. But now men, uh, in, according to this article, um, men want, desperately want a woman to live with them. They're so lonely. They, they want the companionship. No, they want somebody to do the shit work that they're too fucking lazy to do. And a lot of these men are already already have one foot in the grave and another on a banana peel, but they're not quite bad off enough to wind up in a nursing home or in a in a assisted living facility. So they want some woman around to carry the weight. And no wonder a few of these dudes, these delusional dudes, want some women significantly younger than they are. Because those women aren't smart enough to realize the stacked deck they're up against. 
when they partner with a man at all. And this, at least most of them. The, yeah, there are some that aren't like that. But, you know, they're few, too few and far between. So many of these damn men think that they have to have uh, a woman around to do the shit work for them. And so, anyway, researchers are studying this cohort of women that don't want to want to live with men at all. Or if they have an involvement or even a marriage with a guy, they want their separate residence. They don't want a separate room. They want a separate residence. And maybe even clear across the country. So they don't have to put up with that crap. Uh, anyway, they say... Say uh, today, say researchers studying this cohort, more older women are rejecting the downsides of the live-in relationships, the codependence, the daily tension with close quarters, and the sacrifices made keeping a home, caregiving, and doing the emotional legwork to keep their unions humming. And that's the whole thing. The women are brainwashed into thinking that they have that they're just a relationship to somebody else. They're not a human. They're just a relationship. They're a wife. They're a mother. They're a girlfriend. They're not a human. Men aren't defined that way. And more women are finally waking up. If, if it takes them past age 65 to figure out the obvious, well, that, that's the way it is. But I, it's heartwarming to me that women are finally, at least some women, are getting a clue Um and it says here, now this is Canada, of course, more than 68% of, se of seniors residing alone were women. And that's probably similar in the United States. And according to here, again, it's Canada. Uh, it used to be the wit it was widows that would be living alone now, but now it's more divorced women. And of course, more and more women are rejecting marriage completely, but that's still small. Still a small minority, at least for straight women. It's very, it's, uh, there's a lot of stigma attached to it. Let me tell you, having been, having been this way all my life, yeah. Um, well, most women aren't, don't have careers. Somebody's saying here, uh, they've had careers, they're liberated, and they're not dependent. No, they haven't had careers. They've usually, they've usually inherited money through divorce, or uh, gotten a divorce settlement, or they've inherited their money through widowhood. Not many women are, have these glamorous jobs. I mean, come on. Let's quit overstating it. Um, I don't know if... Well, they said women are forming the kind of partnerships they want because society allows different kinds of relationships. Problem is, the men don't want it. Or the men are looking for the 1950s. So, yeah, I thought this was hilarious. Uh, that men want to live together, but women don't. But it's pretty obvious why that is for on both sides. Men want a damn servant waiting on them hand and foot, and when they're half dead, yeah, they want somebody to take care of them. And women don't want to do that shit anymore. So good riddance to this crap. I think people of both sexes should forget about dating anyway. Um... Anyway, that's all I have to say.